Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. Um, this look is supposed to be the penguin from Batman Returns. Um, hopefully it comes across. I'm not too sure. Um, it's fairly difficult because it involves two prosthetics and a bald cap and fake hair and yeah. So, um, I will say this before it goes though. This eye makeup and lips and that, everything looks a lot darker on this camera for some bizarre reason. Um, you'll see at the end from the pictures how light it actually is. It's not that light, obviously there's a distinct edge, but um, I will say that though, just don't make it this dark as it looks. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So if you want to see how to do this look, stay tuned. Okie dokie, so I've already shaved and moisturised and let that sink in so everything's all clean, smooth and ready to go. I'm actually going to be using two prosthetics for this look today. Um, I'm going to be using a brow piece, which um, is the same brow piece I've used, or the same mould I've used for the brow piece for uh, my Jackal makeup from 13 Ghosts and uh, for the Dekinda stuff from my Buffy Vampire Slayer video. I mean, it's it's like a, a raised brow, slightly angry eyebrows. That's, I mean, it's the same one, or similar one that the Penguin has, so it should be okay to use. And the other piece that I'm using is a nose that I've made specifically for this tutorial because all of the other noses that I've made are either too bulbous on the sides or they bend down at the end or point up, something like that. So I, I needed something that was more like a beak. I think that's the kind of best way to describe a penguin nose. <laughs> so um, I'll put pictures at the end of this video on how I've made them. Um, it's fairly straightforward really, but I will be making in the future a video just for prosthetics, just to show you guys step by step how I actually do them, rather than just showing you a slideshow because you can't get all the information from that. So I will make it eventually, I promise. <laughs> okay, so to start off with, I'm going to take my first appliance, my first prosthetic. This is the forehead piece, and I'm going to just line it up where I want it. Okay, so that whole area there I know I need to cover in the adhesive. Now, once again, I'm using Pro Stick. Um, again, you don't have to use that, I say it in all my tutorials because it's not easy to get hold of. Um, you can use spirit gum, like Matt Sticks, that'll do it. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to take a cotton bud, some of the pro stick, and I'm just going to apply one coat of it all in the area that I need it to be. So I'm just going to let that dry and go tacky, and then I'm going to be able to apply the prosthetic. Um, I should mention, the reason I'm doing it in this order, like this prosthetic first, before ball cap and before my nose and everything, is because this piece, when I made it originally, I didn't make the edge on top blendable. Um, at the time it seemed like a good idea, I don't know why I did that, but hey, um, <laughs> it's because I was using a ball cap with it to kinder start, which I'm doing again, so it's not a problem, so when I put it on I can cheat and put the ball cap over the top of the edge on top, so, and it doesn't have a line, because I mean, it's not, I mean, I could probably blend it, I mean, I managed to blend it for the jackal makeup, but it's a bit too thick, I think, to make it seamless, so I'm going to use the ball cap for that. Okay, fun part. <laughs> so I'm going to just apply this prosthetic to my forehead now. So make sure just to push the edges down completely. Um, any edges that are lifting up, just pull back the prosthetic and just apply a little bit underneath of the pro stick or the or spirit gum and push it down. Just hold it there. As I do with all my prosthetics, I leave all the edges on the um, flashing, and just because I'm going to dissolve those and pull them away with witch hazel, it's a lot easier. You get a nicer tear than just ripping it off. So. Um, okay, so I'm going to take my nose, just line it up, and do exactly the same as again. I'm going to apply a coat of pro stick to my nose, to the whole area where the prosthetic is going to be. Okay, so then I'm just going to apply the nose. Okay, so I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll be able to start blending the edges and taking the, fla uh, the flashing off. Okay, so now I'm going to take some witch hazel, which you can get at most like type pharmace pharmaceutical type places and stuff like that. It just blends gelatin really well. So um, I'm just going to take a small amount of that on a cotton bud and I'm just going to slowly start just rubbing away at the edges like that. Just be careful going in one direction or else you'll pull the prosthetic apart. <laughs> okay, so to finish it off, um, after I've done the blending, I just went over the edge with a really, really all of the edges completely with a thin layer of um, Pro Stick. You can, as again, you can use Spirit Gum if you want, just not much. Um, the reason I do that is just my own particular preference. Um, it seems to seal the edges better, so that when you put foundation over the top of it or a colour over the top of it, it doesn't lift up as much. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to let that dry, and I'll start the next step. 
actually, while this is drying, I can talk to you about this. Um, this is the ball cap I'm going to be using for this look. Um, I've actually already glued on with Pro Stick some synthetic crepe, uh, some black hair um, that I've already straightened and crimped and stuff. Uh, I've, had, I've done it in like a receding hairline type fashion, but when I put it on, I can add some more onto it, like I did with my Dickens Stop makeup and like I did with my Evil Clown look. Um, again, I've, I've mentioned before, I'm not, I don't need to probably show you guys how to do it because it's fairly straightforward. I mean, you just glue a, a strip of glue, put a strip of glue, and then just layer the hair on. But, as I said, well, I'm going to be doing riffraff from Rocky Horror eventually. So when I do that, that's going to be the biggest part of the look, really, the hairline. So um, I'll go into depth in that video, showing you exactly how to do it. But it is literally layering hair, sticking it down, and it only takes a few minutes to get done, really. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to get some Pro Stick, and I'm going to apply that to my hairline, because that's where I'm going to glue the ball cap down. Okay, and then I'm just going to apply my cap. Okie dokie, so, um, sorry I just skipped this step, putting the ball cap on, I've done it so many times now that it's starting to make the videos too long, so <laughs> just check out one of my videos, um, I'll put some videos here and some in the description box below just teaching how to, how I've, how I've applied ball caps in the past, okay? So when it's all stuck down and dried, I'm going to use um, some liquid latex and a sponge just on the edges, um, do a coat, let it dry about three or four times, uh, just so when I run my finger over the edge there's no line. Okay, so now I'm going to start on finishing the hair. Um, so I've already straightened some crepe hair. Um, this is how it usually comes. It comes in rolls. And you just literally unravel it and then I put it on, over an, um, a steam iron. Just let the steam straighten it out for me. So I'm just going to take some more of the adhesive and I'm just going to apply it in line where I'm going to put it. Okay, so I'm going to take the hair like that and just snip the top off so I've got a straight edge. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the comb, and I'm just going to push it down, there we go, and I'm just pushing it down. So just leave it like that, it needs to be quite thick, because when it dries we can comb and pull out the excess hair, and it will start thinning itself out. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that in strips, going all the way along my hairline to make the receding hair shape. Okay, okay, okay. so then I'm going to take a comb, and I'm just going to pull it downward through the hair, really gently, just brushing it, and loads and loads of excess will come out and it will start getting straighter and straighter and wispier and wispier and that's what we're going for. Okay, so just try and pat it all down, make it as flat as possible um, and then just, I um, might do it at the end actually, I'm going to go through it with some wax and some hairspray just to make it a little bit more gross and slimy looking. Okay, so then I'm going to start the foundation. So I'm going to take Max Studio Fix Fluid in NSW15 and my Snazaroo Clown White, and I'm going to mix like one part of that, so not much of that, to about two to three parts of this, just because, I mean, the Clown White gives a nice even texture on these kind of prosthetics, and it makes it a nice heavy coverage, okay? So I'm going to mix those two together and start applying them all over my face, making sure I want to apply on the prosthetics and the edges to dab rather than wipe, because otherwise I could end up damaging the edges, so. Okay, so when you're happy with the coverage, um, I'm going to set it with some Grimace Translucent Powder, make sure just to press it in all over, and then we'll brush off the excess. Okay, and I just quickly went in and added some of the Translucent Powder to the hair as well, just to give it that extra bit of, I don't know, messiness character, I guess. <laughs> That's what it looked interesting. Okay, so I'm going to take um, a Grimace cream colour, I think this one's called number 20, it's like a dark brown cream, and I'm just going to apply that, not particularly neat, just all around the outside of my eye. Okay, then I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to just blend it outwards only a tiny bit, just pulling it downwards. So really don't worry about a shape at all, you're just getting the colour on there and blending it it's fine because you're going to colour next to it with some more colours and then over some eyeshadow and that's, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to use Snazzery Purple, um, I think it's number 888 basically. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a small amount of that on a brush and I'm just going to start tracing the eye shape that I want. Okay, so that type of shape, it doesn't really matter about neatness again still because we're still going over colours. So I'm going to use a Grimace Cream Red now and I'm going to take a small brush and I'm just going to go lightly around 
the just where I put the brown cream, just underneath it. Okay, and then just put blend that out to the edges of the purple, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to take um, a MAC eyeshadow, MAC Parfait More. This one's like a smoky purple. And I'm just going to take a big old fluffy brush and just go around the edges and pull, pull it outwards of the purple. Okay, so now I just took some Parfait More and just went down the sides of my nose. Okay, and I'm just going to trace using the same Parfait More colour down the nasal labial folds. And just blend them outwards a little bit. Okay. And then I'll just do the same down the sides of the nose. Just a few angle lines as well. And I'm just going to highlight or shade rather the temples with the same purple colour eyeshadow. I'm just going to highlight on the opposite side as well. Not highlight, I keep saying highlight, I mean darken and leaving a strip in between. Then I'm just going to take some of the purple watercolour in my finger and I'm just going to pull it outwards from the inside of my mouth. And I just use some of the brown cream as well to pull it outwards. And because I love you guys so, so much, um, I'm actually going to be doing this. I can't believe I'm going to be doing it, but I am. I'm going to take some black um, food colouring and I'm going to, this can be gross, I'm going to put about a teaspoon, yeah, teaspoon or maybe less of it in my mouth, okay? And I'm not going to do it on camera because it's gross, so be right back. Actually, make it only about a tiny, tiny bit, like a bimble full. And ew, it's all over my fingers, gross. Uh, but yeah, that's quite effective, actually. Nasty, but effective. It's quite easy to come off. You haven't got to worry about that. I, I have tried this before. Um, if you use, uh, well, most mouthwashes will get that straight away, or fizzy drinks, basically. Okay, and lastly, I just went on the around the edge outside of my eye with, on this side I've done already, the dark brown cream. Just around the edge, and then just blend it inwards. And that's it. That's the look. Um, I completed the look with some gloves, which um, ideally I should take them together, really. I might do for the pictures. I'm just going to tape the two fingers together so they look like flippers. Um, <laughs> I've got um, a shirt that I've stuffed with towels, so it's like a fat suit type thing. Just a makeshift one, really. Um, <laughs> uh, I've put some more hairspray on my hair just to flatten it down a bit more. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to say. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'm going to finish the video now with some pictures of obviously the finished look and um, some photos of how of me making the prosthetic nose base, just in case you're interested, to, not step by step, but just to see how I did it. Um, if you want to see how to make the brow, brow piece, uh, check out my Dokinda Stop Makeup, I'll put the link here, uh, that's at the end of the video. And yeah, but I will, as I said, I will try to do a video soon on how to do full prosthetics as a whole, just a whole video dedicated to that. Um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys like the tutorial. If you like, make sure to thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, until next time, bye!